Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. So today, another Californian home vlog. Um, since I you know, only have so much with me and I'm staying in, you know, I'm working with what I got, but I do have yarn and I do have knitting needles. I figure I'm gonna show everybody like some knitting basics. And that way, if I do knitting videos in the future, we can always refer back here for the how-tos and, and the very big, you know, the building blocks, so to say. So today I'm going to show how to do a stockinette stitch. Yeah, this is like knitting 101. I'll show how to cast on, how to go back and forth needle to needle, and how to get that V pattern on one side and the bar pattern on the other side. So let me show you that. So for today's purposes, any yarn will do. I happen to have this impeccable glitter yarn. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this yarn a try. And then you might notice that my knitting needles, I'm using these um, like circular, um, I forget what the, the technical term is for these, where they're connected with this plastic wire. So you can use standard knitting needles, that's totally okay. These, knit, these type of knitting needles are great when you're going in the round or you have like a large project and you want to push it onto, onto the, the plastic bit in the middle. I, I tend to just use this type because they're very, very versatile. Two schools of thought. Where do we begin with yarn? Do we unwrap from the outside or do we pull from the middle? I like to pull from the middle if I can find it. It keeps it less tangled. Um, that's just my preference. Everyone is different and the choice is yours. So we'll put the yarn off to the side there. Okay, and much like I've showed in other knitting and crochet videos, I always start with a slip knot. So you make a loop, right? So just a loop, just like that. And then you take this tail from on top, you bring it behind and through. And then you hold that tail, and you pull. Okay, let me show you that one more time, okay? So you make a loop, take the tail, which is going on top, it's the top portion of the loop. It goes from on top to behind, and you can even grab it. You see, I'm, I'm holding that loop right now, right? So you hold that loop, and then you pull on this piece. And to take it out, if like you messed it up, you just pull this and it would go all the way through. But we wanna keep it. So, I have my knitting needle. I'm gonna put my loop right on there, just like that, and get, make it a little tighter. Now, this is actually gonna count as my first stitch, my first cast on. Now, to do a cast on, what I do is I wrap the yarn around my finger like so. Okay, so it's going, I'm holding the tail that's attached to the, the ball of yarn in these three fingers. This finger is gonna go on top of, behind, just like that, okay? Then we're gonna take this knitting needle and we put it under and we take it off our finger and pull that on. And then our finger goes under the yarn, picks it up, the yarn goes, the needle goes through the yarn, off our finger, and you see right now we have three stitches on. We have that original slip knot and those two cast-ons we just did. So we're gonna put 10 cast-ons here just for our demonstration purposes. So we have three, that's four, that's five, that's six, seven, let me get some more yarn here. It's just giving myself more slack. That's eight. That's nine. And that's ten. So this is ten cast-ons. This is our beginning. This is the first building block, the first building block of knitting, so to say. We are going from our right hand, and we're gonna put this in our left hand make sure that your stitches are not twisted so that the knot of the stitches, let me see if you could see this. So you see the knit, the, the bump of the stitch is at the bottom. You wanna make sure that's how it is and that they're not twisted 
because then your stitches going forward will be twisted. Okay, so with the yarn loaded needle in your left hand and the yarn empty needle in your right hand, you are then going to start to knit across. And to do that, this tail of yarn is gonna go in front of the needle closest to you, okay? And what we're gonna do is with our left hand, we are going to, with our three fingers, we're gonna hold that yarn. And just like before, when, when we were casting on, it's gonna go around our finger. But now, instead of leaving our finger straight, we're gonna hook that yarn. And that is how we make the tension that we need as we're knitting, okay? So now we sort of straighten out our stitches, make sure everything is good. And we pull this to the front because to do the knit stitch, it has to be in front. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, now let me pull one stitch forward so you could see. So I have one stitch right here, okay? I'm gonna take my needle that's in the right hand and I'm gonna go through this stitch to the front grab and scoop this yarn and pull it through. Once it's through and I have it on that other needle, I can pull it off that needle. So I'll do that again. The right needle is going through the stitch that's on the left needle, just like that. We're gonna scoop the yarn from our finger and pull it through the stitch. And then you can remove the stitch from the left needle and it'll be on the right needle. And we're gonna do that the rest of the way down. And I sort of use my thumb to release the next stitch. I kind of keep my thumb on all of the other stitches that are underneath it. And then as I get to the next one, I use my thumb to push that next stitch forward. And we just keep on going all the way down the row. number nine, and here's the last one, number 10. Okay, so we have all of our stitches on the, on the right needle now. So what we have to do is switch hands again. So the loaded needle goes into the left hand, and this time we're gonna do a purl stitch. So a purl stitch, very similar mechanics to the knit stitch, but you're doing it from behind. So we take this yarn, and we put it behind. Three, just like before, three fingers around and hook, right? And you'll see how now I have this yarn going behind the needle. Before I had it in front of the needle, now it's back here. And when I take the right hand needle, instead of coming through from this side, I'm gonna come through from this side. So same thing, into that stitch, but going through from the back, scoop that yarn and pull it through and then you could take this off of there. So again, needle from front to the back, scoop that yarn, pull it through the stitch, and pull it off. Same thing, through to the behind, scoop the yarn, pull it through, and then you can release the stitch off the left needle. And again, through, pull the yarn, and remove. We do that all the way down. And now we have two rows on here. And you can see them. So we're gonna keep going back and forth like this. So when I switch hands again this time, now we're gonna do the knit stitch. So I just did knit all the way down. And now I'm gonna turn it around and switch hands again. And this time I'm gonna do the purl stitch, which is to the back. I did a few more rows and this is the bar side and this is the side that's facing me when I'm doing a knit stitch. So as you can see the stitches are horizontal they go across and it's consistent it's always the same looking stitch. And then if we look at the other side this side 
looks like a bunch of V's. It's a row of V's, different V's in a row, right? And this is the side that faces me when I'm doing a purl stitch. And this is what a stockinette stitch is. It's basically doing a row of knits and a row of purls, then a row of knits and a row of purls. So that way you consistently get the same pattern. So you get this row of V's on one side and these bars on the other side. And generally this is gonna be the inside facing portion of a project. So that is like my knitting 101. That's how to knit, how to purl, and how to do the stockinette stitch, which is really the foundational piece of knitting. So once you get this, you can really take off with it. Um, so I hope that was helpful. I hope you were able to sort of see what I was doing. If you have any questions about sort of like positioning or which yarn to pull on or where things go, feel free to drop me a comment. I'll see if I could help kind of talk you through something. Um, but that is the basics to knitting. And once you get that, you could take on lots of projects. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. And I will see you tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.